was it easy going or what was your greatest challenge? I mean, is there was a time when you thought of any time in your undergraduate career or even your graduate career when you thought of doing something else? Uh, well, uh, perhaps there was uh, when, certainly not during college. At college, I was convinced that I was going to be a physics major and do theoretical physics, and in particular, what we like to call fundamental theoretical physics, particle physics. Mm -hmm. That Of that, I had no doubt. One of the things that convinced me, incidentally, was... Uh, Chance contacts are so important. The uh, what is his name? Uh, Yukawa won the Nobel Prize yeah, yeah, yeah. in 1948 yeah. for his uh, 1934 prediction of the existence of mesons. Uh -huh. uh, then the mesons were seen, and he was given the prize. He came to New York to give a talk, and I noticed that he was giving a talk, uh -huh. and I brought my friends, and we went to the talk. Oh, okay. Of course, we couldn't understand a word. Of, <laughs> yeah. of, 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 we were not that well informed yeah, about yeah. physics. But at the end, there was a bunch of people talking to Yukawa up front who were left, who hadn't gone home yet, and they were screaming at each other, saying, it's a scalar, it's a scalar, yeah. no, it's a vector, yeah. it's an axial yeah. vector, yeah. it's a tensor. What the hell are they talking about, yeah. we wondered. Yeah. And, uh, of course, we wouldn't know for a long, long time. So, yeah. But uh, that certainly confirmed my interest in, in physics. Going back a few years to junior high school, seventh uh -huh. grade, uh -huh. uh, because I just uh, re I just recalled this incident. I was in class. Uh, no, I, I've, I've said this many times, but out, this is out of order. Yeah, we it's went right. from graduate school back to seventh matter. grade. No, it, okay. Forgive me. I like time traveling. Yeah, too. yeah, that's right. Exactly. So. Uh, uh, the teacher explained to me the important difference between the words rotation and revolution, uh -huh. that the planets uh, rotate about their axis mm -hmm. and revolve mm -hmm. about the sun. And yeah. you mustn't get it wrong and uh -huh. say yeah. that the Earth, well, uh -huh. whatever. But, yeah. a, but the teacher then did precisely explain to us that, the, what the, these things are doing, the moon, the yeah. Earth, and, yeah. uh, and the sun. And I said, to, I raised my hand and I said, uh, the, it turns out what you're telling me is that the moon uh, rotates about its axis in exactly the same time as the, urn, er, as the moon revolves around the earth. And that's because we know that because we always see the same side of the moon. Yeah. And she said, that's very interesting. And I said, why is it true? And she said she has no idea. That's a good question. Yeah. Oh, and that was very important. That you know, that's I, oh, that's a great example which I'll use because I've argued, and she was a good teacher then. Because I've argued, the best thing a teacher or a parent can say is, "I don't know." It's a good question. Let's see if we can figure out why. That's right. Because because it's just it turns learning into discovery instead of memorization. 